Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and in today's sewing tutorial, I'm going to make a sundress with a little vintage touch. I made this sundress from a piece of fabric that I found at the thrift store for just two euro fifty or three dollars. It has a half circle skirt and kind of a sweetheart neckline. Okay, let's jump into this sewing tutorial. I'm going to start this project by making half a circle skirt. So to make half a circle skirt, you fold your fabric in two. Now you need your waist measurements. And you divide this by 3.14 or pi, but not the good tasty pi now, the mat pi. Now I'm going to use this result to draw a small circle. Be sure to draw this on the folded corner. Once that is done, I'm going to draw a big circle to decide the length of my skirt. So you add your desired skirt length to the length of your little circle and you draw a big circle from the top of the fabric. Once this is done, all that's left to do is to cut it out and da 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 da, you made off a circle skirt. Then I zigzagged around my skirt to prevent the fabric from unraveling. If you are watching this video right now and you have something like that, it's a nice video, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Thank you! Whenever I make any type of circle skirt, I always hang it on a mannequin for a couple of days. This is supposed to help with the way the skirt falls before you hem it and will make the end result more neatly. Okay, so now the skirt is done and I'm going to make the sweetheart neckline. I did this without a pattern, so I put on a top with a good fit. And then I took a piece of chalk and started to mark from the point of my bra strap over my breast, so in the half of your breast area, until uh, around 5 cm above your belly button. Make sure to do this on both sides and connect them so you form a rectangle. Then I laid this on a piece of the fabric and I folded the shirt inside on the lines of the pattern that I just made. And I copied the sides of the t-shirt pattern over on the fabric. The sweetheart neckline, I selected my favorite bra and I'm going to use this as a pattern. Lay it on the fabric, make sure that it aligns with your previous markings and copy the neckline. Once I copied the neckline, I connected all the lines of my piece and I cut it out. Here I am lowering my neckline, you can cut this as low if you want, just be sure that you end up with a piece of clothing that you are comfortable wearing. Now I'm going to measure how much fabric I need to complete this top. Be sure to measure this on your chest area, what is mostly the biggest part of the top. I will need 66 centimeters to complete the top. Then I laid my piece next to another piece of fabric and I used the bra to complete the neck, not really the neckline, but you know, the rest of the top. I don't have a lot of fabric left, so I'm going to use three pieces to complete this top. So I divided this measurement of 66 in half to make the first piece. Then I completed the piece and I cut this all out. So now you just have to copy the first piece to make a second one. Just make sure that you copy them in a mirror image. I really didn't have enough fabric left, so I ended up making two pieces and sewing them together to make the mirror image of the first piece. And then I set these three pieces together to make them into the top. I wanted my top part to have some more support, so I added a second layer on the inside. I used an old t-shirt to do this. I lost the footage, but this is really easy. You just copy your top on the second fabric. So now the top is finished too. Okay, let's set this baby together. Lay the top part on the table with a pretty side to watch you. 
lay the skirt on it with the not pretty side towards you. Pin these together and simply sew them together with a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch if you have stretchy fabric. Now I'm going to insert a zipper. I started by cutting the top pieces of my zipper. And I burned them, well I didn't really burn them, I just boxed the top so they wouldn't unravel. You can do this too, but I'm not responsible if you put your house on fire. Next, open the zipper up and lay it upside down on the sides of your dress. And pin it in place. Now I'm going to mark a spot around 1 cm or a half an inch above the end of my zipper. And I will sew the zipper into this spot. Sew the zipper as close as possible to the iron or plastic thingies and use a straight stitch. Then I turned the dress around and pinned the zipper to the other side. I copied the marking that I made on the other piece and I sewed this using straight stitch as close as possible to the iron or plastic thingies. Now I'm going to close the dress, but I'm going to start closing the dress at the point that I made the marking. This way your fabric closes over the zipper and you don't have to finish the zipper at the end. So I turn the dress around and I pin it down and I sew this close with a simple straight stitch. I'm watching Friends when I'm sewing because I know the series and I just like it. And I just like having it on the background. So yeah, let me know what series or podcast you like to watch in the comments below. Now we have a skirt, a top part, a zipper, and we need some straps. So I put my dress on and I measured the length I would need for my straps. It's smart to add around 5 centimeters or 2-3 inches to this length. Then I set all of the scraps together to make a piece of fabric that was long enough to do this. I cut it in two because I need two straps. I folded them double right sides together and I sewed this using a straight stitch. Then I pinned the pin to the end of the strap and I used this to guide me through the loop and to turn the loops around. I personally found these straps a little bit too thick so I folded them double and I sewed them to make them a little thinner. Then I sewn the straps to the front of my dress. I sewed this a few times with a straight stitch, so I would be sure that I won't come loose. Then I put the dress back on with the straps and I marked places where I wanted the straps to be at the back. I did this in front of a mirror and I just marked it with a piece of chalk. Then you know, then you undress yourself and you pin the straps to the rightful place and you sew them into that rightful place. So they are literally put in their place. Now we have everything we need for the dress. I'm just going to add some finishing touches like darts and hemming. To make the darts, put your dress on inside out. Squeeze the dress under your breasts together until they fit you in a way you like. Then I pinned this in place so I would have kind of a fold. Then I used a piece of chalk to mark alongside these folds. I just like to do this. I find that it gives me more accuracy when I sew the dots. Then I drew a line along this with a piece of chalk. And I sewn along this line using a simple straight stitch. Congrats, your darts are done. Now I'm going to hem the skirt. Just need to fold around a half a centimeter or a quarter inch over and you sew this using a straight stitch. Take your time to do this so your end result will look 
neatly. Okay, so we are coming to the end of this week's video. I really hope that you like this dress. My original plan for it was to be a little less summery. I wanted it to, you know, have shoulders, but I didn't have enough fabric. So I made this sweetheart neckline with the back, and I really like it. I love summer dresses. So yeah, do you have any kind of dress, skirt, or any kind of clothing or bag? you would like me to make let me know in the comments below and maybe send me some pictures on instagram i will link my instagram in the description i'm not going to be able to post a lot of videos in the upcoming months because i'm working full time again yay i have a good job but i will still try to post as much as possible and i also think about starting with some craft videos i want to make a newspaper basket no, I want to wave a basket kit or newspaper. I've seen a lot of people do that online. It seems fun. I also want to make more paper and, you know, sew a lot of dresses and skirts and, you know, backs and stuff like that. So, yeah. Subscribe if you're interested in that. And thank you for watching this video. Bye. See you next time.